This is Mothlin in East Ayrshire. These are the old red sandstone quarries, but the example here is an original face covered in cup and ring mark stones. These were rediscovered maybe about 20 years ago or so. They had been hidden behind a curtain of ivy, so they are in remarkably good condition. They're very unusual in that they're on a vertical surface. They are quite common throughout Scotland and indeed many parts of the world. But in many cases they're on horizontal surfaces or at a slight angle, often in very prominent positions. They may well date back as far as the New Stone Age. And they're composed of sometimes just purely cups, as in here, picked out with a, a hard stone, or often they are cups with rings round them. There's an example there with multiple rings. Their purpose is still a mystery. There are many suggestions as to what they were made for. Such things as maps of the area, maps showing the position of certain minerals, such as maybe bronze, as in copper for bronze, iron deposits, other items of importance to peoples who would be using them for creating objects. That, of course, conflicts with the time at which they were thought to be made, seeing as they seem to belong to possibly the New Stone Age. Other suggestions that may have something to do with family relationships and may possibly indicate what they call matrilinear inheritance, where, as in the, the Picts, who were thought to have inheritance through the female line, not through the male. So, for instance, a king's son would not be the next king. It would be the king's daughter's son. If that were the case, it's possible that the central cup would represent a mother, and that each ring would represent one of the children. In some cases, there are troughs, lines, linking one of these cup and rings to another. And that might have suggested the intermarriage between families. Other suggestions that they might be representation of the dreams of the shaman-type priests of the time who, having taken drugs like magic mushrooms, would see images, and these may well be the sort of image that you would see under drug conditions, and that they were there, they would then, if you like, mark their dreams on stone, as they would be of some significance. Other suggestions is that they were troughs under which libations, such as milk or other items, were poured um, during ceremonies, but obviously on a vertical surface like this, that would be very unlikely. They remain a mystery. The collection here is one of the most extensive to be found in as much as you often find maybe half a dozen or so on a stone. On Aaron there are faces there with large numbers on them, but to have as many as this, a little unusual. These are situated in a very wooded rural area and are lucky to have remained relatively undisturbed. It is of course unclear as to who may have added, embellished or some way altered these since they were found.